Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. We are solving multi-step equations today. And like I always say, take some notes, make sure you're paying attention. Staring at me is not gonna make you get it. All right, let's go. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. How to solve multi-step equations, distribute, combine like terms, move the constant away from the variable, get rid of the coefficient by performing the inverse operation. Um, first we're gonna distribute, right? And then after we distribute, uh, we're gonna get rid of that constant and we're going to get negative 4x equals 40. And we're going to divide. x equals negative 10. That was too easy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Not starting off to a good start here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Example number two. I promise I'll get it together. We're going to distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times p is negative 3 p, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, so negative 3 p minus 3 equals negative 18. We are now going to get rid of the constant. So adding 3 to both sides. Now we're going to get rid of the coefficient. Divide by negative 3 on both sides. p equals 5. Okay. Still distributing the negative 5, negative 5 times k is negative 5k, negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Get rid of the constant, not the 90, but the 15. So negative 105 equals negative 5k. Get rid of the coefficient. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. Positive, because negative divided by negative is a positive 21k. Okay, 84 equals negative 7, parentheses, V minus 9. Distribute that 7, that negative 7. So we're going to get negative 7V plus 63. Notice how that sign changed, right? We're going to get rid of the constant. Not the 84. That's 63, baby. Okay, 21 equals negative 7V. Get rid of the coefficient. Very good. Negative 3 equals V, or V equals negative 3. Are you getting the hang of it? I hope so. OK. Um, 3 times 2P, and then 3 times negative 7 is 6P minus 21 equals 21. Plus 21 plus 21. 6P equals 42. How do I get rid of the 6? Did you say divide? Divide! Okay, sorry. P equals seven. <laughs> yeah, yes! Okay. Let's distribute that to, oh, that was quick. Eight R minus eight. Get rid of the constant, plus eight plus eight. But you have a, we have a zero. What am I supposed to do with the zero, Miss Bernard? Zero is a number two. 0 plus 8 is what? 8. And then get rid of the 8 in front of the R to get R by itself. So I'm going to get R equals positive 1. That was a lot of distributing. But what if I just have like multiple terms, right? So we want to combine like terms before we move on. So we're going to do the 6 plus the 6, and that's going to give me 12x plus 2 equals 14. And then we're back to a regular two-step equation. We love these because we move the constant. Divide by the coefficient. X equals 12. Ta-da! 9 equals negative 2m plus 2 minus 3. Combine your like terms. Move the constant. 
divide by the coefficient. It really is that easy. That easy. Okay, so now let's combine both skills. So remember the first skill was we distributed a bunch. The second skill was we combined like terms. So we're going to distribute first. So we're going to get negative 24x minus 36. Now we're going to combine like terms. 3 and 36. Negative 39. Now, same thing. Move the constant. Divide by the coefficient. Ta-da! It's that easy. It really is. Okay, last one, same thing. Combine both skills. First distribute. Combine your like terms. Now we're back to a regular two-step equation. Move the constant. Divide by the coefficient. And you're done. That's it. Take a deep breath. Exhale. You did good. Go back to the video, see if you can do it without my help. Um, and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell somebody. Bye.